Hi Sai everyone, it's Kayla. I am here to record this video for my Kofi channel. Um, a little update on my plans, my thoughts, my intentions, and I thought it would be a good time to share just a little bit about what my plan is as we're ending 2023, moving into 2024 really soon. And I also wanted to share maybe a little resource for you guys as you're coming into the end and even maybe something I'll practice for you right in the beginning of 2024. I have a lot of ideas and yeah. so many things that I want to share with you all and they've just been living in my brain and just running around in circles and building up and growing that I've kind of psyched myself out and I I didn't share anything for so long because I I let my perfectionism get in the way and I was just like I have to make it perfect it has to be exactly the way people need it exactly the way people want it, it has to look beautiful because I'm an artist as well I want things to look pleasing and I would I would just keep pushing things off because I have my hands full with this one and I have another little one running around somewhere in this house and I've got other projects that I've got due dates on and yeah I've just I I would constantly find something some reason not to share these ideas and create these things into existence and I I think I'm at a point now where I'm just like, you know what, I I really just want to share what I have to offer. I want to get this information out. I want these resources to be out. I want these activities and um, <laughs> practices to be accessible to people. So that's the biggest thing with all of this is I've always wanted these kind of mental health, trauma healing, artists and creative resources to be accessible because for someone like me I I was never able to afford these like memberships to yoga studios or art studios or classes and while I definitely um, understand where the whole obviously people have to make money people have to make a living I have to make money and make a living and I'm trying to still sort out how I'm gonna do this um, and I'll keep you updated on on where I land with all of that but for now I know that there's gonna be an element to what I do that I want to keep free like all the time and I want it to be an accessible resource for people to be able to come to them <laughs> to be able to use it and um, not let finances or time or ability be something um, that's in the way of of them accessing this kind of stuff. So that's the heart of the center of everything of where I'm coming from on all of this. And I am just really excited to be able to share a lot of the practices and creative tools that I've um, built up over the years. Um, so this is all gonna be a combination of art, of course, of, of just creative, like making, creating things and being able to express. So also coming from my background with my psychology degree um, and experience with teaching and special education and my own personal experience with chronic illness and disability. Um, also my experience as an Asian American, indigenous, um, Bukuan. This All of this is gonna combine into um, I forgot to add also my experience as a yoga instructor and my teachings and <laughs> education around trauma-informed practices and that's a really big part of it so I wanted to add that in there as well so all of this is going to kind of come together and be shared in different forms maybe videos downloadable pdfs that kind of stuff I'm thinking about putting up like a podcast more so just to have meditations be in an accessible place um, I've been trying to figure out how to do that in a way that's easy for people to kind of just click on and open um, so yeah that's just just a few of those ideas 
and I'm hoping that all of this is something that I'll be able to start just sharing with you all through this Kofi channel and letting it be this sort of natural interaction where we can just have a community versus a place where I feel like I have to present something in a like polished, perfect, finalized way. Um, that's why right now I'm trying to get this all just in one take, one video, so it's a little bit more natural and less, um, you know, polished, <laughs> which is maybe will appeal to some people and maybe to others not so much, but that's just the way that I feel like will help me to be able to share what I can as much as I can um, instead of, you know, getting in my head and saying, putting things off and saying that I have to get this perfect. I have to get this completely, um, I don't know. Like one of the things that kept me from doing this was just my art studio space has been a disaster for a long time. And it's been hard to get organized since this one is still just over half a year old now. He's almost seven months old. And so I haven't really gotten a chance to He's trying to eat my necklace. I haven't gotten a chance to really organize the space as well as I wanted it to. But like, I'm looking at it in the video. No one's gonna tell that like there's stuff in these drawers, stuff all, of course not in the drawers you'll be able to see, but there's stuff all over the place that isn't where it's supposed to be. And honestly, I don't know why I let, I let it, let, let me, um, there we go. I'm losing my, my words, but I don't know why I let it get to me. Um, <laughs> and I'm done letting it stop me from, um, sharing all these things with you. So I hope that you'll follow along with my Kofi. I will definitely also be sharing and updating you all through my Instagram, um, and my own website as well. And I'm really hoping to get more consistent with specifically my email marketing list um, because it's something I actually really enjoy doing and writing and expressing in that way is fun for me. So I wanna be able to tap back into that as well. And it'd be something that's easier for you guys to also access and find and search up in your email, um, your inboxes and all of that as well. It makes it a little bit more accessible as well in that way. So yeah, I hope you join me and <laughs> Join my email list, follow me on Kofi if you're not already, and I know a lot of you from my Instagram channel have been curious about all of this, so um, I'd love it if you were to share with your own followers to see if there's anyone else who'd be interested in coming on this journey of being able to slow down a little bit more, to connect with yourself connect with your own body and hopefully find ways to be able to connect with each other in different ways as well um so yeah i'd love to have some feedback on things that you're looking for things that would be helpful ways that i can make it more accessible for you and i'm excited for 2024 and happy new year to all of you i hope you have a restful and healthy end of 2023 and then it carries on into 2024 as well so yeah like i said keep an eye out i'm gonna be putting up some kind of downloadable little reflection thing for you to take with you through the end of this year and beginning of the next year to kind of get grounded get ready and see what this first month is gonna look like with my my kofi this first month is probably gonna be like my little trial run into 2024 to see how it's gonna be. And then we've got Lunar New Year in the very beginning of February. So I think that'll be a good time to really do my official launch of what I'm, what my big plan is on how I'm gonna be setting all of this up. Oh, yeah. This one has helped me a lot to figure out how to slow down a little bit. So <laughs> let's learn from this guy. Thank you, and I hope you have a happy new year. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>